All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, last week, I had an opportunity uh, to speak at the uh, school board meeting. I know some may question the reason why I spoke at uh, the school board meeting, but I was there speaking on behalf of uh, every uh, black elected official uh, as it relates to the closing of a particular school. Uh, some may uh, question uh, whether or not I should have gotten involved in that process. Um, um, after the school board member reached out to the black elected officials, um, we all said, hey, we needed to do something. Um, I know that uh, uh, one of my colleagues will probably show the video of me uh, giving my uh, speech, um, but I'm no different than um, any uh, black councilman who has sat in this seat. I'm no different than the former, the late uh, Dow, the late Atkins, the late Tempton, the late James, uh, former Councilwoman Willa Johnson, former Councilman uh, Skip Kelly, um, who all have advocated in some type of form or fashion uh, as relates to uh, uh, the uh, conditions, as relates to the quality of education uh, in uh, uh, Ward 7. Um, uh, I, I know I did, um, after talking to uh, one of the uh, school board members, um, I did get on um, uh, Facebook and put it out there that, yes, the school district was looking at uh, closing the school. Because she asked me, she said, Councilman Pettis, I need your help. Um, I have tried to advocate to the best of my abilities um, uh, to represent this, this area that is um, uh, African American. Um, but the school district is not hearing me. I need your help. I need the black elected officials help. And so that's what I did. Um, I know that um, a video is getting ready to be played soon uh, of me going out. But again, um, I don't apologize. I did what the people asked me to do. I did what the neighborhood association asked me to do. I did what the pastors asked me to do. And so uh, I have no uh, regrets uh, in that. Um, I hope uh, the school district will uh, uh, work more with the black uh, elected officials. Um, uh, it's sad to say that the relationship is not a uh, good working relationship, but I hope um, that one day it will be. Um, I hope that we are able to work hand in hand with uh, all the school board members. Uh, uh, like I said, I, I know some have questioned me getting involved, but again, um, I was speaking on behalf of every black elected official, and I'm no different than the uh, previous Ward 7 council folks. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, briefly, Mayor, I just wanted to congratulate um, the After School Network and thank the council for supporting that effort. They work with the students at FD Moon um, and at Eugene Fields Elementary School, and the kids had their final uh, wrap-up session last week at the uh, Chesapeake Boathouse. And the results are just stunning. Um, they're doing great things, and um, I really appreciate um, everybody's efforts in that regard. David? No, thank you. All right. Todd? No, Larry? Ed? I did want to show that video um, because I think, I think we have a problem, and that is that with regularity, we are addressing members of another elected body uh, in a way that I don't think is healthy. Um, and I think it is different than what other council persons from this body have done. Um, I can't show the video, but essentially it involves a raised voice um, addressing the superintendent and the chair of the Oklahoma City Public Schools by name, pointing at them and accusing them of lying. They did and that if this was a white neighborhood as opposed to a black neighborhood, that it would be a different I, I situation. I do not whatsoever, Councilman Shadid, apologize for anything I said uh, at all, because that is the truth. I mean, it, it, when we, and, and maybe we should have a larger discussion about race, and that I think sometimes uh, our city, we're afraid to have. Uh, everyone knows that uh, uh, from time to time, I, I, I do come off as a preacher, but if you, if you take the, the, the content of black elected officials, that's something that has, 
a vast majority of every black elected official, when they speak, sometimes they do sound like a preacher. I don't apologize for that, and I don't apologize for, for saying what I said, because as a black man, I'm telling you what I saw. I'm telling you what the community felt. So I don't apologize at, at, at all. And, and, and my words are the same words that all the other black elected officials who represent that area. And I don't apologize for that. I'm just going to tell you straight up, I'm not going to apologize. Had the school district been and upfront for the and honest. Okay, let's, let's just hear what you had to say, because I think there's an important point that needs to be addressed. Record. Yes, after talking to Ms. Bud, I did become the black Donald Trump, and I did get on social media, and I informed the people what was going on. And I don't apologize. I'm sorry, but the excuse that you all have given is unacceptable. And it is? It is truly unacceptable to wait to the last minute to inform the community that you are thinking about closing their school. If this neighborhood was a white neighborhood, Madam Chair, you wouldn't have given that direction. And she did. Madam Superintendent, you would not have given that direction. And Ms. Rebecca did. Budd, I say thank you for informing the community what was going on. And I am going to talk about this issue at city council meeting because I don't have any time limits at city council meeting, but I have less than three minutes here. But I just want to publicly say thank you for doing your job. And Madam Chair and Madam Superintendent, y'all have work to do. And again, Councilman Shadi, I don't apologize for Councilman anything Lewis. that I said. I wish one day you walk a mile in a black elected official shoe. I wish you would. Spend a day with me, Councilman Shadid, and see what I see every single day. And Again, one, one day, Councilman, okay. one day. Spend one day with me. You will see the reason why I'm so frustrated. You will see the reason why the other black elected officials are so frustrated with the school system. And so, so, it, it, so as, as you criticize what I said, I ask you, Councilman Shadid, walk a mile in my shoes for one day. See what I see every single day. Every single school that's our Oklahoma City public schools that's in Ward 7 are falling behind. Former Superintendent Rob New said black students are dying at the vine because of the school district. Rob New said that. I, I want you, I want us all ultimately to be successful and I don't think that it's effective. And there are two reasons I don't think it's effective. Number one, we should look at our own house. We live in a glass house. We have, let me, let me just finish if I may. Sure. We should make sure that the city addresses its issues on race and that we have, I, I welcome that discussion on race at the city level. We are potentially heading towards a Title VI issue on our transit system, which involves race. Uh, certainly, there are arguments both ways and I'm sure we'll work it out. Um, but. If somebody, another elected official from another body came and, and I am no councilman. Please, if you please let me finish, John. I, I, I will let you finish. Please let me finish. Sure. Um, the geo bond, right, was on the northeast side. It was done at the end of the thing. I mean, I think there are reasons for that. But it, but if another elected official of another government body came and yelled at us and accused us of racism, it wouldn't be productive. What's productive and effective is Mark doing the leadership and arranging that meeting next month. That is going to be highly effective on race. Meg, working on the texting, the homelessness thing, I saw that. That is going to make an impact for the poor and the disenfranchised. If a member of an elected body, another government branch, came and our, talked to our mayor in that way, I would hope that we would all rally around and we would not tolerate Someone kind again, Councilman Shadid. I do not John, apologize John, it, for what it, I said and how I said it. I understand that you're. I'm saying it's not effective. Walk a mile in my shoes. I'm saying Walk it's not a effective. mile in my shoes, Councilman. You, Rob knew left for many reasons, but it did not help that a councilman yelled at him to where he thought that the staff around thought that they should call the police. 
Aurora Laura, this is not the first time that she has been yelled at in public, accused of lying, accused of being a racist. Her own school board member said that she was lying. It is not a Her fact. own school board member said there she was lying. And by the way, the school board member who said that she was lying was a black elected official. For the record. Fair. For the record, Charles Henry pointed out that one thing we do not do is lie. He was referring to the superintendent. So that was, again, another black elected official calling the superintendent out, okay? I, I don't, I believe that there, I think that the issue of closure, first of all, if I'm Aurora Laura, what I've noticed on the first five times that I've floated the idea of floating a school is that you get this community response, you get a great, in this particular case, there are things that they cannot talk about, the health conditions of the principal, et cetera. You had four teachers returning who had any- The, the number Please four was on. not the correct number. Please, let me just- But, but, but if you want to, you and I should have a meeting and we should talk about this. That so, is so, so you can better understand, again, my view. And like I said, I don't apologize and, and I know you want to make your point, but I'm just going to tell you, hey, what you see is what you get. And I, I was standing up for my community. I did what the people asked me to do. Okay. And I do not apologize for that at all. If you and I want to have, you want to have a conversation to talk about how we move things forward, I'm more than willing to have that conversation. But again, I don't apologize for it uh, at all. If you, if you look at the whole footage uh, of that uh, uh, school board uh, meeting, you will find that the black elected officials uh, the school board members, they had things worse to say than I did. So it was just not just me. And again, I don't apologize. I, I did watch the whole meeting. There were no other elected officials who, who went and spoke and accused them of being... Well, I, again, and... their own school board member, Charles Henry. I, so, so again, I don't apologize. John, John, I don't we've, apologize. John, we've it. heard, we, we, we understand your position. You, yeah, it's not effective. It's not, there are, the legislature is putting us all in a situation where more of this is coming, not just at North Highlands. There are this had nothing to do, this had nothing to do with budgets at all. This had to do with broken promises by the school district. The school district put in place a number of years ago an action plan to improve North Highlands, but they never never followed the plan. It didn't have anything to do with money at all. It had everything to do, the budget cost. cost it had system. nothing, Councilman, it had nothing to do with budget at all. An assistant principal was left because of budget. The union I, I was know. not willing to give a stipend after this. They've now, the union has now been willing to give a $3,000 stipend for people to come in. Now you have teachers coming into that school that weren't before this process. They would have had a private meeting had you not put it on social media. I don't regret it. And it I don't regret it. I don't have, regret it. It almost certainly would have been deferred, and we could have no, had. No, I, I beg to differ. I, I beg to differ, Councilman. I beg to differ. All right. Yeah. Ed, you had enough? I think I've had enough. I've, I've had enough in more than one area. I, I, again, Councilman, if you got a problem with how I do things, you and I need to sit down, and you need to walk a mile in my shoes, I will walk a mile in your shoes, okay? If you want to really have and figure out how to move things forward, see what I see every single day in Ward 7 when it comes to education. I do not apologize, but, but the school district has my commitment that I will work with them to improve every last school that's in my ward. I think there, I think this body, I th I, hopefully I, this speaks for itself. Hopefully this body understands we need to get our own ship in order. I strongly believe, I have bitten my lip week after week after week. I believe that there are behavior that is unethical at best, uh, that is crossing the line, that is reflecting on all of us. Uh, I think that it is a cancer, a type of cancer, that if it is not addressed, can metastasize to all of us in the effectiveness of this body. 
and I'll leave it at that. I understand that's somewhat cryptic, but we have an issue with some behavior that has not occurred in decades. I disagree. This body. All right. That's it. James? Okay. Uh, city manager reports. Nothing this morning. All right. Citizens to be heard, Mark. It's just you. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, everybody. We're adjourned.